What is the best way to handle when you see a red flag? Do not try to make it anything other than a red flag. Uh-oh. This is gonna make some women's mad. You don't want to know Enjoy. If you got a problem with me, I don't really gotta care no more. What's good everybody? If you're a first time viewer of my content, you know this video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're a first time viewer or you've been watching me for a while, I need you to do something real quick for me. Hit the bell because it might be personalized right now. So I need you to click on all instead of personalized so you get all notifications to my content. Okay. So as we're beginning into this video, as you saw a little snippet from Miss P, um, this woman, well actually this woman who goes by the name of chocolate chip and sip futuring stormy p which i'm assuming she's stormy p she is stormy p <laughs> um damn she got a nice body my bad spirit of lust got the best of me anyways <laughs> we're gonna get to her in a second all right but the, the woman that you just saw recently that was not miss p she was telling women that you know, basically, some women out here be wasting their time because they don't like to notice the red flags, okay? But we're going to watch the video in its fullness so that we can go more in depth and analyze the whole topic at hand. Right. So without further ado, let's get into it. What is the best way to handle when you see a red flag? Do not try to make it anything other than a red flag. Mm. I think sometimes people not see a red flag, notice it, like, oh, you know what, that kind of, don't try to paint it any other color. Of course we notice those red flags, but many of us think that we are artists, Picassos if you will, and can change that flag from red to green, which means go. No, nah, ladies, what we need to do is go back and figure out why we always saying somebody wasted our time. No, they didn't. What we did was spend our time thinking that we can change somebody from what they told us they were in the first place. We need to figure out why we are only hearing somebody and not really listening to them. Just something to think about. All facts, no fiction i don't see any lies told if we're just being honest i i really do not see any lies told here and see this is going to be very controversial because a lot of women will not like to hear some of the things that i have to say concerning this type of topic but there are a lot of women who think more emotionally than logically when it concerns the basis of men and some women don't have that intuition within them to decipher and discern between what is a good man and what is not good for them i'm gonna say that again what is a good man and what is not good for them so there's a lot of women that might look at a man and he looks good you might think that a man is good for you because he looks good nice car might dress nice he might have nice connections and stuff like that but who is he at heart how is he mentally how is he spiritually how is he emotionally how does he cater to women how does he cater to you how does he deal with people in his circle how does he interact with people in his circle when you get frustrated or when you get in your feels how does he respond to that these are things you have to take into, you know, these are things that you have to take into consideration. See, and I'm taking this at a different angle because a man can have all the nice things, right? He could be as high value as he may think he is. But if he doesn't go out of his way to actually appreciate you, if he doesn't go out of his way to give you the time and attention and value that you deserve, he's not the one for you. You know, there's a lot of angles that play at this as well, because you might run across a good man, but you're just not compatible because <laughs> it might be you. <laughs> but that's not the basis of this topic. Right. So we're not going to deflect. But, you know, I remember I heard this one woman say that in a relationship, if you're with a man long enough and he's the issue or he's the problem, it's going to get to a point where you're the problem because you're putting up with his BS and in the relationship, 
is one sided because you're the one that's making all the ruckus. So at the end of the day, you're going to be the one that's the problem. Even though he's the problem, you shouldn't look at him like he's six flags. You should look at him as a caution, as a danger sign, like turning the other way. Do not enter. <laughs> That's how you should look at him. But a lot of women look at those type of men as interesting. I want to I wanna get a little taste of that, right? They want to go through the drive through and get ran through. Because he looks nice. Because he has a nice car. Because he, I don't know, athletic. Has a nice fit body and stuff like that. And all of those things are nice and fine and dandy. But you have to look at, you know, how does he deal with people? How does he deal with you? His communication skills. His emotional intelligence. These are things that you have to really take into consideration before you deal with you know what does he look for in a relationship and how many kids does he want to have and what are you going to be in five years you need to deal with the real questions you need to deal with relationships you need to deal with past relationships trauma all this type of stuff now i'm not telling you to ask about all these personal questions in the first date first interactions and stuff like that but as you get along to get to know him you have to ask the questions to where you are going to really pick at him because there are some men out here that will put on the front and some women just aren't smart enough to look through it <laughs> some women just haven't had the the proper experience of knowing if a man really about it or if a man's faking it to make it. So it's like what the woman said in red. You know, when you see a red flag, don't try to make it anything else than what it already is. Not try to make it anything other than a red flag. Mm. I think sometimes people not see a red flag, notice it, like, oh, you know what, that kind of... Don't try to paint it any other color. Don't try and, oh, uh, you know, I'm going to stick it through and I'm going to try and help them along the way. You know, it's just a little small, you know, we, we all weren't there, you know, so I, I'll stick it through and, and maybe I can enlighten them with this pussy. Ma'am, only 1% of y'all have that Buddhism, have that shyism. Okay, only, only, sh only so few of you have the goods to, to really transform a man. There are certain women who have that magic, that sunshine. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. I guess you say what can make me feel this way, my girl. They were talking about that good good. When you have the goods to make a man... Make a song like that. <laughs> That's when you know you done did something. Sugar pie, honey bun. You know that I love you. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Only so few of y'all actually have that transformation energy. All right. Out here walking like Madeline. Only so few. That's all I'm, I'm going to just keep it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. All right. You want to know more about that? Hit me up on my Patreon. OK. Also, ladies, don't think that because a man gives you the good ping that he wants to be with you. Assume because someone is giving you relationship treatment that they want a relationship. A lot of times these people don't even realize that they're doing what they're doing. They say to you like, just because I let you meet my mom and you ate my and we shared the same <laughs> fork, that don't mean I want a relationship. <laughs> Hold on, good brother. Hold on. Hold what the on. F are you saying to me? Because in my mind, if I meet your mom and I eat your and we're sharing a fork, you want a relationship. You just out here doing this with everybody? A red flag. These people suffer from situationship syndrome. Their previous partners let slide. They don't know that everything that they're doing is something you do in a relationship. Okay. I know some of y'all, y'all get, y'all get. A little digmatized because a man done 
treated you so right in bed. I'm talking about he sucked your toes. He done licked them elbows. Okay, he licked the ash off them necks. I'm talking about he he peeling back them them back rolls. <laughs> when he going when he going to work in the back and he he peeling back them back rolls, start caressing you, running his hair through your scalp, I'm talking about pinning you to the bed, everything. He could do all that. And you just over there making his dingling look like a glazed Krispy Kreme donut hole. The man can can give you class A dingling. And move on to the next and be on about his day. And you just sitting there dazed out, going crazy over him. Seeing when he's on next uh, uh seeing when he's on Instagram again, seeing when he's on Snapchat again. Dazed out. And you think because he gave you good deed that he's a good man. No. There's a lot of incubuses out here. Also, ladies, another thing. Don't try and peer pressure a man into a relationship. Don't try and make him feel bad and manipulate him and say all these type of things. And just trying to make him feel bad so that you can be in a relationship and so that you can tell your girlfriends. We's together. We We's together. Ooh, child, look at, look at me and my man. Looking like a fool. Both of y'all look like fools. And I pity the fool. I pity the fool! Just looking stupid. Don't be out here peer pressuring a man into a relationship. I mean, like, literally pushing him into a relationship. The man don't look happy not one bit. And any of y'all, he hiding his faces and stuff like that because he really got people on the side because he don't want to be with your crazy self. Look at you. But y'all let me know how y'all personally feel about this respectfully in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and share this with other people because this needs to be said. Okay, there's a lot of women out here walking around thinking that they can change a man and that just because they see some major red flags, they can try and turn them green. No can do. No can do. Okay. Some women out here just really need to let a man change himself. Walk upon that hero's journey. And he will transform himself. Now I know it takes a woman to make that, that spark. Right. It takes that feminine energy for him to actually transform. Her. But sometimes you're just not the one. <laughs> and, and out of your own respect of, of being. You know, you're not obligated to wait and sit it out with a man. He has to go on his own journey and find himself. If a man hasn't found himself and you came across him. Keep it moving. All right. But like I said, don't forget to like the video, share this video with other people and uh, check out the videos at the end of this video. And until next time, we out.